Today we visit the small hamlet of Dorothy, Alberta, Canada, situated in the Red Deer River Valley, southeast of Drumheller. The community was named for Dorothy Wilson, a young girl that lived in the area at the time. Not officially a ghost town, with a small number of residents still calling it home. Let's take a step into the past and visit this beautiful community in the Canadian Badlands. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Sorry if it's a bit noisy, it's a really windy day here. I'm in uh, Dorothy, Alberta, just outside Drumheller. It's a small little community here, it sounded interesting. There's probably only a dozen or so or less people that live here. So it's not really quite a ghost town, but there's not too many people here. And there's an old grain elevator, a couple churches, a few old buildings around, so I just decided to have a look around. Uh, if you haven't already, click that thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, that really helps me out. So yeah, let's have a look around here. So we'll just take a little walk around here, see what we can find. Here's some old farm equipment. Hay dump rake, $40 new. <laughs> I apologize if it's noisy. It's a really windy day today. Other than that, it's not too bad. It's a little cool, but it's not too cold. building here. I guess this used to be a little house. Circa late 1940 photo. Yeah, I don't know too much about the place, except it's just a small little community. Never used to be very big, even years ago. Nowadays, yeah, there's only, I think they said a dozen, maybe, maybe less residents in the area. Arthur Peak's first ranch house. Oh, it was moved here in 1986. But this is original to 1897. Restored. Still laid out pretty much the way it would have been back in the day. The 
town was named after a little girl named uh, Dorothy. But I'm not too familiar with too much of the history. It's a Dorothy school. Visitors coming in here, writing stuff on the board. Ghost Hunt, Alberta. Smoke detector chirping. I don't know if they still use this maybe as a community center or something but looks like they still might use it for some events and Churches. There's a couple of them. The other one is just over there. View of the Badlands. Pretty nice church. Yeah, old stove right there. So it was originally a school in 1912. So the church began services in 1944. And the last mass was 1967. Other church right next door. So they restored this one too.
these are just some pictures up here of them uh, renovating the church. So that's what it looked like before they started renovating it. That picture was taken 2006. Yeah, so they did a pretty good job because it doesn't look like there's much left of it there in the picture, but that's kind of cool that they took the time and renovated it and brought it back to life. Here's some more old buildings here in the town. Mash on Bros store. Store burned down 1962 and replaced in 1963. Okay. Valiant. Some old building that's almost completely fallen down. tractors that's a pretty cool Jeep I'm not really sure what it is though beautiful area around here. It's so quiet. Pretty sure there's a few people around today, but I don't I haven't seen anybody yet. So here's one of the grain elevators that's left here in Dorothy. There used to be three total. The other two were tore down many years ago. Somehow this one has survived, and it's still standing today. Not sure how much longer it's going to be kept standing though, but it's a pretty cool sight to see an old grain elevator still like this standing. There's not too many of them left. This one is the Alberta Pacific Grain Company. Thanks everyone for watching. I'm about to leave Dorothy now. Uh, if you haven't already, click the thumbs up, click the subscribe, it really helped me out. And so until next time, I'll see you on the next adventure.